imagination is a really important part of everything I do, but I like to imagine things that are based very heavily off of something real. And I, I get a lot of inspiration actually from old scientific illustrations and the role that art has played in natural history, whether it was an ancient cartographer trying to imagine what might be on the edge of a map, or whether it's me trying to imagine what color a dinosaur's feathers might have been. It's, it's all just humans taking everything we know and then filling in the gaps with imagination. The materials I use really depends on what kind of project I'm working on. If I'm doing a comic, I might be doing the ink with a traditional brush or a dip pen. I've always been a, a big reader. I grew up on all of these fantasy and sci-fi worlds where the worlds had been meticulously created, and I admire that. It's part of transporting you into that realm or that story. Tales of Rodinia is a comic book that I made with two friends of mine. All of the characters that I've created for Rodinia are based on extinct megafauna from the Pleistocene or another ancient period. So I've had an immense amount of fun just imagining these characters as anthropomorphic beings. Imagining what kind of clothing they would wear, what kind of vehicles they would ride around in, what kind of ships they would use. Whether I'm illustrating or whether I am painting a mural. I am world building. I'm creating a space, creating an environment, trying to transport someone to a different place. I am an exhibit muralist for the St. Louis Zoo. I've done right around 20 murals for the zoo. I paint the murals on site, so I'm in the exhibit the whole time. I don't know what's going on inside the head of a snake or a turtle, but hopefully the animal who lives in that exhibit will feel a little bit more like they're at home, but also hopefully the viewer can kind of feel transported to that part of the world where that animal originally came from. As artists, we like to say that we make art for ourselves, but on some level, I think many of us, we want to be immortalized a little bit, having some piece of us live on after we're gone. So even if it's just that hope that someday far in the future after you're gone, one person might find one of your things and just for a moment like have a connection to it. Then you have jumped through time and space. I think that is still part of the motivation of an artist.